Patty. There's gotta be a better thing. All kinds of owies. That looks kind of cool. What is that? What we're going to do now is move on to a 3D version of the prototype. Now, the 3D version of the prototype requires us to have stuff. We need junk. It's our junk box. We have a lot of stuff in our junk box. In fact, we have too much stuff in our junk box. So we have to get rid of some of this stuff. In uh, episode zero, we talked about having two shoes. We're going to get rid of one of those shoes. And this thing, it's cool, but maybe I could stack things. I'll play with this later. Right now, let's see, what am I looking for? Oh, that might be helpful as a roller. Sort of long, sticky thing here. And so here is, this looks like maybe a chopstick, uh, some yogurt containers maybe. Here's a old straw. And here's a little cuppy thing. I don't know what I'm gonna need here. Here's a mouse pad, we'll pull that out too. So your junk box, it's important that you have a bunch of stuff in your junk box so you can have lots of choices for how to make a 3D prototype. Now, we're gonna make a low resolution 3D prototype. It's important that we know the difference between a prototype that actually will function versus something that will help us tell our story. This mouse pad, I think what we're gonna work with is maybe this roller. Because if you remember from our drawing, our 2D drawing represents our starting point for the 3D drawing. So if I look at our 2D drawing, I need to make this roller bit and then I need some Lego. So let's see if we can get there. So let's take this roller bit. Let's take some scissors. Oh. And we're going to cut this in half. We only need half. We'll throw that other part back in the junk box. And then I need to attach this somehow. And I think we're not going to need any of these pieces. So we're going to take some tape from our trusty tape dispenser that does not dispense tape very well. In fact, it's horrible. But I'm going to make it work. Oh, I don't think I can make it. That's going to have to go to the tape ball. All right, tape. It's a lovely thing when it comes out of the tape dispenser correctly. And we're just going to stick some tape. Till this is a low resolution prototype. So this is not supposed to be a work of art. We just need to attach this thing so that we can demonstrate the idea. We're looking for feedback on the general idea. And we call it low resolution because it doesn't have a lot of detail. Low resolution comes from TV screens. and Nowadays, all the screens are super high res, you know, high def. Well, this is not high def. Because this might not be liked by the user, whoever that user is. I think I need one more piece of tape. I know I'm globbing a lot of tape on here. But I need something along the top here. So you do it quick. All right. So I've got some Lego. I could pour the Lego out. If you didn't have the Lego, well, you could draw the Lego and go like this. But I have some Lego. And it does, this is not going to function. This is not going to work. Probably. I mean, there's no way it's going to work because there's no sticky stuff. So here I am, and then it sticks. And then, well, I could actually take some Lego and stick it on there. Just pretend. It's just a little pretend. And so here's my roller. And it rolls over. Now the big Lego we can pick up easy, but the little Lego gets lost. And so we roll over it and it picks up the Lego. And that is the low resolution prototype. Uh, hopefully this helped you understand how to make a low resolution prototype. Uh, you'll end up with some sort of physical thing that you make quick in your 2D uh, prototype on paper. And hope this helps. We'll see you next time and making with Matt.
How come you didn't help me pick up the rainbow? How come you didn't help me? How come you didn't help me pick up the rainbow? What was your story? You could have helped me pick up the rainbow. Oh my god. Alright. Where's Uma?